Hi guys, in this video I'll talk about some of the utility functions that C++ provides for characters. So I'll first read in a character and then I'll check the category. So I check if it's a digit, a lowercase letter, an uppercase letter, a space, or anything else. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll add a preprocessor directive, include cc type, and then we can start by defining the character. So here I create a character variable and I name it ch. Then I prompt to enter a character and I read that character in. So I do sin.get and the reason for this is because if I were to use sin and then stream operator to read it in, this won't read a space character. So if I had this one and I typed in space, it would just ignore it. all write space until a real character um, is entered. So with by using dot get here and reading into, into the variable, it will read any character, the very, very first character that is entered. Doesn't matter if it's a enter key, um, a tab, a single space, whatever that may be. Now, the next thing that I'll do is step two. So first I start by checking if this is a digit. So I could compare it here. I could maybe do like check if it's a one, check all the characters. I could check the range as well, um, if it's somewhere uh, within the range of uh, digits. But what I use now is the utility function that CC type provides. And this is is digit. So this is much more convenient. I just do is digit, I pass in the variable to it, which is a single character, and the function will determine if this is a digit or not, and will return true or false. So if it is indeed a digit, I'll put this here. And if it's not a digit, I continue checking. Now the next thing I want to check is if it's a um, lowercase letter. So again, I could do it um, with comparison. So I could do a um, less than or equal to ch, or if ch is less than or equal to z. I could write it like this, but I use the utility function function here as well. And the utility function is lower. Now, if I were to want to check any, if it's just a letter, I could use is alpha. So there's a function for that as well. But here I care about casing, so I'll use is lower. I check that, and if it is true, I'll output this. CH is a lowercase letter. And if it's not true, I check if it's uppercase. So you may have guessed this. It's just is upper. I pass that in, and this again returns true if it's an uppercase character. An, an uppercase letter. So I output this is an uppercase letter. And if not, next thing I want to check is space. And there's a is space function. So space is not just uh, space itself. It can be tab, can be line break, can be really any white space character. And I'll output this. And last, if it's really nothing of, of the ones that I checked before, it's basically any other character. And I'll output this here. And that's it. So let's run our program a few times to check. So here I enter four, and four is a digit. Then I run it again. Let's check a lowercase character, for example, D. This will say it's a lowercase letter. And let's check an uppercase letter. Let's say capital N. This will say that's an uppercase letter. Then we check a space. So here, enter space, then I hit enter. This will say a space is a space. 
And here we can see it, it works with any other space. So if I hit enter once, it'll read the enter key, and here it actually outputted it. That's why it's in a separate line. And I say enter is a space. And then let's add an exclamation mark versus really any other character. So these are some of the utility functions that are convenient when we work with characters. Thank you for watching.